Benny Hinn, oh, the glory of his presence. God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you for this time. We thank you, Lord, that we know that without a shadow of a doubt, that you are real. We thank you for the revelation that has been born within your people everywhere. Hallelujah. Thank you for the kingdom of God worldwide, globally, with our respect of nations or languages thank you for the kingdom of heaven that has been revealed in us through the manifestation of the holy ghost and for those O oh god who are without understanding you have given the word made flesh revealed in us we thank you now god as this word is going forth today I lose conviction in the name of Jesus. By the spirit of wisdom, we decree victory in Jesus' name. Oh, God, thank you. We give you the glory. Well, bless you, saints. This is an awesome time. And we thank God for victory. We thank God that regardless circumstances, situations, weather, and so on, that without a shadow of a doubt, we are able to stand. And the scripture says, having done all to stand, to stand. And that is the key. We must do all. Someone would ask the question, what is all? Well, we lay a foundation for victory we find out, number one, how. How are we to have victory? Jesus went back to heaven. That is witness in the word of God by eyewitnesses. Then Jesus said, promise, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. So he sent the Spirit of God to be the indwelling power in the earth realm, regardless of nations, regardless of language, regardless of color, regardless, the Spirit of God is in the earth realm to minister the will of God to the believer. And so, therefore, we have victory. The victory was bought. The scripture says concerning Jesus that Jesus revealed as Mary's son the Christ, the son of the living God. 
Jesus spoiled principalities and powers. Jesus made a show of them openly, and he triumphed over every one of them in it. How was this done? How was such a victory accomplished for mankind? Well, the scripture says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. That was what encompassed the suffering along with the prevailing that was accomplished in the garden. Where the scripture described Jesus' posture at that time, he had left the upper room where he had eaten, he had eaten rather, with the disciples the last time he went into the garden and Peter, James, and John stayed with him. He went into the garden and began to pray. And as he prayed, the Bible said sweat like drops of blood fell from him. He went a little further and fell on his face, travailing to prevail. And that is our key now. In order to prevail, there must be some travailing. What is travailing? Travailing is praying until. Praying until the Holy Ghost prays through us. Well, we know not how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession with groanings which cannot be uttered, for we know not how to pray. Yes, we pray until, we praise until we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and we enter into his courts with praise until we have pressed past the pressures of satanic activity, which is greatly threatening at this time. Well, we're coming closer, closer, closer to the time that Jesus has prophesied and he has raised, amen, his apostle Paul, who declared we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Yes, yes, the, the, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And that time is fastly approaching us. I want to say that what we see in the news now is the results of years of planning, years of strategy, of satanic activity, as well as the accomplishments of man. The combination of both will be used during the Great Tribulation. And so we see the stamp, we see the blueprints, we see the footprints, we see the fingerprints of Lucifer preparing the earth for his takeover, his permitted manifestations. Jesus said this, except those days would be shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the very elect's sake, he will shorten the days. There has been an announcement concerning alternative intelligence, AI, that presently the position and the ability of AI is causing robotics to be as never before 
used in warfare. That means that in the cases of some nations, which can include the United States, that there will be robots in the cockpits instead of men or women. That means that somewhere more earthlings are going to die because the robots can be used even as a bomb. They can just go in as what happened uh, with the Japanese. A lot of times the kamikazes, they would just pick out a, a target and they would just go there and die in the plane as the plane would crash. And so here we have these human bombs, and that could be very well the case because a robot can be also wired to contain that which is deadly. So the announcement has been made concerning AI that will be used in war. Does that mean that everyone is going to be destroyed on the earth? It means that this is prayer time. No, everyone will not be destroyed on the earth. But we must pray and fulfill what the scripture has instructed us. To pray without ceasing. Does that mean that we don't rest? With all that getting, getting understanding. Around the clock, there is someone praying 24 hours a day. Remember, the world, amen, is the place of the saved. The earth is the place of the saved. All of us have not ascended yet. So there are many people that love God in earth realm. Let me say something to you saints of God, people of God, as the announcement has been made and some of those voices came from the occult, even so let us lift up our voice as a trumpet and let us declare, you will not get all of our children. Whoever you are, you will not get all of our children. For God has given us power. And the power of God supersedes. The power of God reigns. The power of God is the greatest. Jesus rose with all power in heaven and earth. Jesus the Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession, and for that we pull, and for that we receive what we need in grace. And those that are in Christ are seated with him, yes, at the right hand of the Father, as Christ is making intercession. And we have angels, the angels of the Lord that camp around about us to deliver us. Yea, we have victory in Jesus, and the victory is ours. The prophecy is, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Yes, the new heaven and the new earth will be inhabited by the people of God who have been overcome us. It also will be inhabited by the people of God who will live through several dispensations. The dispensation of the judgment. Mm -hmm. There will be saints that will live through that. There'll be people that will finish out the great tribulation, that will go into 
the uh, thousand year reign. There are people that will live through that. Yes, there'll be some that will succumb to death, but there'll be people, amen, that will be born. And the thousand year reign will be concluded with the war that will thrust the earth into the last time and the last fling of Lucifer where he will be loosed for a season and then at the last time of his activity he will be bound forever and casted into the lake of fire and that event will launch the great white throne judgment Ah, saints, every believer, know this, that our time is drawing nigh to leave the earth. Remember, we're going to leave the earth. It has been promised. Yes, we should not all sleep, but we should all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. The last, at the last drop, we're leaving the earth. Some will already be asleep. Some will not. But how it is, we are leaving the earth. Let's be ready. And, yes, some, we shall not all sleep. There are people that are going to live until the rapture because it is so close. Jesus is soon to come for the church. Soon the event will take place. And it will happen. That will be the launching And the breaking forth of the greatest time that Satan has ever been manifested. So let me say this to you. Stand, and having done all to stand. Stand, having your loins girded by with truth. Do not be entangled with this world. Regardless of what your need is, turn to the Lord. You know, there are men and women that don't have a brick and mortar house. They never have one, never will, because they live in a place that is totally poverty-stricken. In Africa and in South America, there are people they never lived in a, in a brick and a mortar house. So therefore, we are blessed. We are blessed. Well, thank God for Jesus. Thank God. Now as I go off, and pardon that interruption, as we go off, we're going to pray. God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you for the blood. We praise you for the blood. We praise you for the blood. We praise you for the blood, the blood, the blood. We praise you for the blood. We praise you for the blood. We praise you for the blood of Jesus. We praise you for the blood of Jesus. We praise you for the blood of Jesus. And your power prevail now. In the name of Jesus. Your power prevail now. Your power, God. Your power, your power prevail now. In the name of Jesus, your power. Your power prevail in Jesus' name. Well, saints, stay encouraged. God bless you. Love you.